Hello, I'm Jo from Insight to Mental Health and I'm here today at the lovely lake in Needham Market to talk to you about the theme of movement in order to mark this year's Mental Health Awareness Week this week. So what better way to have a conversation than come on the journey with me. Let's go. many benefits to movement. One of the important benefits is around sleep, making sure that we can get good sleep. So when we move more, we're more likely to sleep better at night. It can really help us if we're experiencing insomnia and can also help, for example, if you have restless legs and also can help with pre-sleep anxiety as well. Particularly useful if you can get outside in the fresh air on a day like today. Get a bit of vitamin D into your skin, and just spend a few moments soaking up that lovely sunshine we have at this time of year make us feel so much better and fresh air always makes us sleep well doesn't it so certainly one of those really important benefits to movement is getting good sleep so another benefit to movement is really confidence giving us more confidence in our bodies, physically and mentally, and also improving our mood. So many GPs, many healthcare professionals, one of the first things that they'll ask people to do if they're sort of mild uh, depression, low of mood, is to go and exercise more. So we know when we exercise, it release, releases hormones called endorphins. Those feel good hormones make us feel better. So what other better reason for getting out and moving a bit more on a day like today. Another really important benefit to movement is that it helps us to feel less anxious. It helps to reduce feelings of anxiety, particularly movement that has got this rhythmic movement to it, like walking just like this. So it doesn't have to be a very pacey walk, it doesn't have to be really rigorous. It's great if you can get your heart pumping, but a gentle walk is fantastic. And just while you're walking, just to practice mindfulness. So just being aware of your surroundings. So just near to where I'm standing here, I can hear the birds, I can hear the wind in the trees, I can hear a aeroplane above me, surrounded by wildlife and everything just sort of seems like it's coming out to bloom for spring. Um, so rather than being distracted, perhaps with looking at your phone, listening to music, just be aware of the sounds, be aware of what you're feeling, beautiful sun on your face and the lovely wind on your skin. Another benefit of movement is the fact that it helps to improve our memory and increases our concentration. So many of you might have exercised, perhaps gone out for walks, gone out for jogs um, and just gone, gone out and done some form of exercise and just really enjoyed the movement, perhaps solved some of your problems, worries while you've been out, just allowing those thoughts to freely Flow, just to give us that time, space and capacity, just to breathe, just to think. Another benefit of moving more is really to reduce any feelings of social isolation. So even if you come out for a walk on your own, like I've done today, there are people around. You're connecting with people through perhaps saying good morning or good afternoon to people, just being in the same vicinity as people. And you might even choose to move more by joining an exercise class or joining a new club. And again, it's that interaction with people that's really important. Feeling part of a community and having that social connection can really reduce those feelings of isolation and loneliness. So the Mental Health Foundation have released a number of tips for us all to consider during this week's Mental Health Awareness Week on the theme of movement. 
And one of those tips is around finding moments in our day to move more. So when you're boiling the kettle, for example, rather than waiting for the kettle to boil, perhaps going back to your emails or looking at your phone or sending messages, just to perhaps have a walk up and down the room where your kettle is, um, or do some simple stretches, for example, while you're waiting to make yourself that nice hot drink. So some more tips from the Mental Health Foundation is to make sure that we set ourselves some just some small achievable goals. So when we talk about moving more, it doesn't have to be entering into 5k races or running a half marathon or something. So maybe just walking around the block if you're not used to it just a couple of times a week. It's really important as well to find the fun. So perhaps put some music on that you enjoy listening to, embrace the inner child, dance like nobody's watching. Just choose your, your favourite songs from maybe the 80s, 90s, whichever era you grew up in and just embrace yourself and just move. Just let your body move and just have, have a good time. As an adult instructor with Mental Health First Aid England, I love collaborating with the team at Care Development East. So if you're a health and social care provider and you're interested in becoming a Mental Health First Aider or indeed receiving some bespoke mental health and wellbeing training, then please do get in touch with the team at Care Development East and they'll be more than happy to have a conversation with you about it.